Well, hello everybody on the internet again. We're at the boat Tranquility. The owners are going to be here in about half an hour. I haven't done any photography of this boat whatsoever as yet, so I thought we'd give you a little run through before they arrive. Um, so, what's going on in this boat? Well, a lot the same as um, what we have on other boats. Um, we can see nice and clearly here the infill panel made out of GRP and then the large purpose maze solar panels pumping it out today. We've got a reflex stove on the inside and a Wi-Fi on board aerial there. Moving forward, oh, you might like these. So this is the, the nice rope fenders with the, um, the, the things that you get from Midland Chandlers and uh, inspiration from a, uh, a guy um, um, or, a, or a scout. Anyway, so moving forward, we've got the Titan Cratch. This is a pram and it's in a color called taupe. And I think that looks lovely against the blue. So it really sets it off nicely. Now you might like to see all of the other boats that we've got there. They're all lined up, shining in the background and Falcon <laughs> looks like the um, the more senior sister of um, uh, Tranquility. So we're coming on board. Um, nice big semi-cruiser stern with this lovely, very, very comfortable and easy to use steering position. Um, nice big mothership um, electric throttle there with the bow thrusters here and all of your switches there that you need. And I don't know if you can see down there, there is a, um, the shoreline connector. Jonathan Wilson style, um, well, he did it actually. Um, weed hatch down there and um, lockers um, with the tech deck there. And these are packed with stuff in here. So um, this is what you'd expect and they're all painted out nicely as well. So let's have a look down in the engine room or should really be called the motor room. So in here, what you can see are the lead carbon batteries at the back. A lot of people are going for lithium, but lead carbon is a very viable option. And we've got a Mars A generator, and you can see there the beautiful, shiny Mothership Marine um, the PMAC motor. That is such a good motor, we're really proud of it. Now, just coming up a little bit, I wanted to point out this, um, this is a fiberglass hatch. We make those ourselves with a gas strut there and it's just so easy to use. It really is. And uh, I'm gonna have to, because uh, it's a tight fit, put that down and you can lock that as well, which is a, which is a nice thing. Um, nice and easy sliding hatch. And um, we're, moving, we're moving in. Oh, before we do that, look, here's a, um, a, a little drawer for all of your bits. Um, in there and on the side here is a, um, a panel that we've uh, created that has all of the information. You won't be able to see it because it's too sunny, but come on in, come on in. So what I want to do is <laughs> carry my, um, my, 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 she's looking very Jack, like a miniature Jackie Onassis today because the sun's out and it, the camera might be shaking a little bit now, but just come in Kerry turn around and open that door there, the little cupboard door, and we'll have a peek inside there and you'll be able to see how we do all of the, um, let's just have a, a, a run down there and this is how we do all of our electrics. There's a starter panel there for the generator and we've got everything there just scan quickly all the way down to the bottom and that'll do, that's enough. Um, Close that up. Here, let me help you. And um, these, this is good. So you've got um, shoes there. This is where the, the um, lead carbon batteries come to and shoes or whatever there as well. And lots of storage in there. Now, if you notice that down the bottom is a, um, a radiator. So if you have wet clothes in the winter, that'll dry them out lovely. Okay. Right, um, we're going off script here, so back up a little bit, uh, Kerry. Um, we have a Kuka tap, so um, that's hot water and does all of those things, so it's really nice. We've got um, induction hobs, we've got a, um, a it's an all in one oven that, that does absolutely everything, really great. But what I wanted to point out is all of the um, 
the, 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 the furniture that we make. So lovely soft closing, but this is the same wood as what we got on the floor and in fact along the gunnels all the way down the house. And all of these um, uh, lines will, mar um, will line up all the way through the boat and it really does look lovely. Um, we've got a <laughs> William Morris um, thing going on here and again with the, um, the, the, the wallpaper within the um, panels and um, I'm just going to wiggle past. Um, lovely big breakfast bar um, here and we've got a double duck hatch so there's one here and one there. Now I'm just going to show you these little panels that we make. So what? There we go. So painted the same colour as the boat on the outside and the same colour as the inside there and then these just insert there and um, bring that down and that's all you need to do at night to to put those away um, raw um, metal radiators with a with a nice antique brass things that the customers chose these um, these are from Ikea and I think they're, they're very very comfortable um, I'm gonna walk all over the the, the chaise longs which have become a thing that we like to do but you can see here you've got a lovely dining room table and if you wanted to extend it, then these um, pieces slide, I'm not going to do it now, but they slide into there snugly. So you, all of a sudden you've got quite a large table. And incidentally, you don't have those ugly dome things on the roof. We may, on, on, the, on the floor rather, we have these little ring pulls that you'll find all around the boat. And you pull those up and you find a hole that you shove a pole in, but it's, it's a very solid table and just so you know what's going on here, um, this slides down and that slides up and there's a bed there or extra seating, whatever you want to do. So anyway, Kerry, follow me please. Now we've got a reflex stove, um, it's actually on, we just wanted to see if it was okay so it's rather warm in here and then this nice little area here for a, a laptop with plugs um, in the back there, but this folds away, so it's, it's a simple thing, he says. There we go, and push that there, and that goes down and folds nicely away, but it's, it's a very solid table, and again, keeping this thing of all of the, um, the timber lining up, this um, groove here carries on all the way through. Nice little alcove to, to put things, um, Alexi's gonna go there soon and um, into the bathroom. Ah, um, actually, just before we mention it, we've got a camera on board this boat, and we've got Alexa, and we've got Wi-Fi, and they're all plugged into the 24 volt system, so that if you do turn the inverter off, it'll all still um, remain live, and you'll uh, be able to find out what's going on on the boat as well. And then we've also got these little groovy, um, temperature sensors that the Victron equipment will pick up. So storage in here, storage in here, um, bathroom in here. I'm going to jump in the shower. Um, <laughs> right, um, pass me the soap. Um, now the, um, the chap who um, has bought this um, along with his uh, girlfriend is very, very tall. So what we've actually done here is we dropped the shower base all the way down to the floor. This is a, a size that we do make ourselves and I think it's ideal. Um, again, we make all of these panels and they really do stand the test of time. It's a walkthrough area, so you can see all the way through to the front of the boat, but then you better come through, Kerry. Um, what I might do is, you can see the mirror there and the, the sink. It's a very good sink and they've got, <laughs> we've been using them since um, uh, Polly on Falcon found them because you can really get your face into that and it's um, it's really good. Um, frosted glass on one side, Caldwell windows and double glaze thermal break um, and um, that's all, all very nice. Um, composting loo and raw um, metal radiators plus these uh, towel rails that hang over the top so we make these ourselves very robust and a loo roll to go with them um, 
So, let's go through into the main room. Um, and, um, yeah, so we've got cupboard space here. That's drawers. No, it's not. It's not drawers. It's um, shelves. And in here, we've got hanging space, which is good. Um, hooks. So come through, Kerry, and we'll, we'll do it this way around. And then turn around. So you've got the, uh, the double hooks for, for hanging there, lots of those. Drawers down below. And then back to me, and just reverse a little bit. We've got our um, uh, folding beds that, uh, that really do make for a great night's sleep. Underneath the beds, there's lots of storage. You can see at the bottom, there's um, a drawer either side. Um, this is a, a blank piece that we, that we put up and it goes into the door area there and um, it, um, when the door is, is closed it, it's, so you don't have to use the, um, uh, the curtains although you could. Um, right, um, let's keep on going. We're nearly at the end. Uh, we've got low level vent here and water um, uh, gauge there too and then into this area here um, which is the uh, the cratch as I said before it's a Titan cratch and again we've got the flexi teak not sorry not flexi teak tech deck in here um, you can't see it but we've got a fiberglass um, what do you call it trapezoid shape um, gas locker there and um, that's nice and easy to lift. I'm sure you've seen me do that on other occasions. Um, this is a plug-in um, tunnel light, and just above um, uh, Kerry's head there, there is a, a connector for that. Um, this is a lovely boat, and um, we're very proud of her. It's uh, taken some time to build, and a lot of um, very uh, caring and skilled craftsmen have, um, have sweated over, over this one. Um, me not so, I sit in the office and do things like this. Well, I, I help out occasionally. But um, the, I hope the customers will be very, very happy. And like I said, they will be here in a moment and um, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll let me on for a little sail up the river.